Bots and Books fans, this is Scorp1701, and tonight we are going to be taking a look at the Super 7 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate Leonardo. That's right! I finally got a hold of my Leonardo that I have been looking for for the last few months, and we can all thank Entertainment Earth for being able to provide me this awesome figure at a very decent and affordable cost, and if you're looking for a Super 7 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, try Entertainment Earth because you might find what you're looking for. I know I did. And take a look at the box. You have a a nice brown cardboard mailer. It says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leonardo, ages 14 plus, Nickelodeon, and Super 7. Turning it around to the back, you got some credits for the box. Those are great. And you got a barcode there. But who cares about this little mailer? What we want to see is inside, and that is actually right here. And this is a cool inserted box. And you have it, it's all green, and you have a Ninja Turtle there with his teeth showing on his left side, and some katanas, and this looks like a sewer cover and some shell. It is a great combination of coolness. And then you have Ages 14, you have Super 7, you have his name, Leonardo there. On this side, nothing. On this side, nothing. On the bottom, you got some more credits for the box and a barcode. And on the top, you have Ultimates. And then finally, coming around to the back, you have this huge, awesome Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. And it is beautiful. I love it. I love it. You also have some contents, one figure with accessories, and Super 7. Finally, this is just a slip cover, so when we take this off, we will get to the actual goods. And there is the awesomeness of Leonardo. And you can see his accessories and his weapons in Leonardo and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo. And on the side, you got some nice sewer wall decor with some graffiti. It looks like some pizza drawings and some other stuff. And on this side, you got some more sewer wall with some graffiti drawing and a grate. And that's really cool. Same thing on the bottom. On the top, you get Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And turning it around to the back, you get a nice sewer wall. It says Turtles and Electrical Boxes and Super 7 and Nickelodeon. And you get a brief read-up of Leonardo. So as we zoom in, we will focus that in. And you could pause the video and read that to your heart's content. But it says, Leonardo, the battle commander for the Turtles. Like his Florentine namesake, Leonardo is the perfect turtle. In the lidless eyes of his allies, he is known as the unofficial commander of the Turtles and Splitter's star pupil. Because of his keen eyesight and sensitive hearing, Leonardo is extremely well balanced, which makes him more skillful when wielding his ever flashing katana blades. No matter how dangerous a situation, Leo doesn't mind sticking his neck out. His primary objective in life, cut Shredder down to size. And that is cool. And I love this thing so far, but I don't want to see Leonardo in the box. I know you don't want to see Leonardo in the box. So let's get him out of the box and see what he can do. And here we have Leonardo out of the box. And out of the box he stands at approximately 6 inches tall and he comes with a slew of accessories. And we'll take a look at each of those accessories a little bit later but right now I want to focus in on the main turtle himself. And as we take a closer look at Leonardo, I will remind you, as I've done three other times, that this Leonardo is not necessarily based on the cartoon series, but more the Playmates toys that were released in the late 80s. And as you can see, here he is with the original Leonardo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line, and they are almost exactly the same. Obviously, the Super 7 Ultimate Turtle is a lot bigger and more articulated, as is the custom for today's toys. But as you can see, the skin tone, the bandana, the eyes, the mouth feature, being open on the uh, left side the belts and the straps going on the shell coloring is almost the same now again the super 7 does have the difference because as you can see his fingernails are painted there wasn't a lot of room to do that on the original and if we look on the back to the actual shell and holder of the katanas. They are identical, the same design with the straps coming down straight and then the crossed sword holders. So that is really, really nice. And I love the shell design. Obviously a lot better and detailed on the Ultimates as opposed to the 
uh, original 88. Or, yeah, I think he's 88. It's been a while since I've looked at this guy, but anyway, we'll get him out of here and concentrate again solely on the ultimate turtle. So he is very, very nice, very beautiful. He does have a nice blue headband as we go in close on it. And I'm not sure if it's coming up, but there is some details in the mask. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, when you see them with the naked eye, you can see nice bandana tied here at the back. Got a little bit of plastic there. Green coming up the head. Do got a little bit of blue smudge right here on the top of the head that's kind of annoying but the eyes are nice and white like that coming down to some nice burnt orange for the chest and you can see the straps and the belts and now it looks kind of like leather queen bravo actually thought it was leather but no it's it's just plastic it's got a lot of detail in there to make it look leathery and the belt is nice it's uh, got some designs here on the sides a nice circle with the yellow l and some more flat uh soft plastic to make up the little strips going on either side so that is neat you get a lot of muscle detail in the uh, arms here i love the elbow pads and the wristbands are nice and blue like they should be and again like i mentioned before if you look the uh, fingernails are painted with a lighter green than the actual fingers so that is cool and then coming down same base color of olive -ish olive green or forest green i'm not sure what the actual green is coming down to the knee pads which are nice and blue and on the feet he does have painted toenails as well so that is really cool and if we turn him around to the back you can see the nice detail in the shell now all the shells have these like cuts in them and the different uh grooves but for the most part i think all the shells we'll take a look at this when we do some comparison are the same color on the back but that is interesting you got a little bit of black wash in the back of the leg here so that is cool a little bit of marking details here on the bottom so that is neat and that is pretty much what your leonardo is gonna look like all right moving on and for our articulation starting at the head head can go around 360 degrees if you're so inclined it can look down just a little bit it can kind of look up just a little bit and it can kind of bobble back and forth on the neck hinge so boop, 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 you get that so that is cool coming down to the Shoulders, shoulders can go around 360 degrees. They are in a hinge, so they can go up and out. So that is good. He doesn't really have a butterfly. He does have a forearm rotation. It goes all the way around 360 degrees. Does have a elbow bend. Gives you just about 90 degrees, so that is good. And that comes down to um, a forearm rotation all the way around 360 degrees, hinged. And then you have the wrist articulation, which is going to be on all of your uh, alternate hands. So it can go around 360 degrees. And depending on which hand you got, you can either hinge in and out or up and down. And depending on how you twist your wrist, you can pretty much get that in all of them. So that is good. All right. Coming down to the midsection of his chest. Basically, uh, there's no articulation really here. He can't, doesn't have an ab crunch or anything like that because this is basically one solid piece. But you can manipulate the shell to turn him all the way around 360 degrees at the waist articulation, which is really weird. I just discovered that with my NECA turtles and apparently Super 7 can do that as well. So yeah, you do get a little bit of waist articulation in there, which I would have never thought to look for, except I just found it by mistake one day. All right, bringing you down to the legs. Legs can go up a long way and they can go back. Not too much because the shell gets in the way, but they are hinged so they can go out to the side a long way. So that's a lot of motion there. And he does kind of have a thigh rotation all the way around 360 degrees. And then he does a knee bend, not a double knee bend, but you know, you get that much out of it. So that is good. And then actually got his foot already hinged up. So the foot is articulated, hinges up and down and it goes all the way around on a rocker. So that is cool. So a lot of articulation for this little turtle. All right, moving on. 
And the first accessory I want to take a look at for Leonardo is this awesome alternate head. And this is a cool, cool accessory. And I love these alternate heads that come with all the turtles because they're not cartoony. They remind me of, of the comic book. But, uh, you know, in the comic book, they all had red bandanas. But still, this is a very more mature, angry face. You got meaner eyes and the face here. You could have both sides of the mouth open. And that is so cool. You can see the teeth in there. And on the back, what I really like is that the bandana is really long and yeah, flowing. And you can kind of move it around. That is so cool. And I'm going to put this on Leonardo. And he's going to be displaying the rest of his accessories with this cool alternate head. All right, moving on. And for the next set of figure accessories, he comes with four sets of hands and each of the hands are slightly different. You have a set of punching hands. These are closed fisted hands and you can put them on and he can do some punching pop, 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 pop. So those are really neat. He comes with a pair of grabby hands and these are really neat so he can sit there and he can go I got you I'm gonna get you Arr, like that and those are really nice and they are hinged so they can go up and down so that is cool and then he comes with two sets of weapon holding hands and at first glance you may think these are the same hands and they are not if you take a look at one of these sets of weapon holding hands you'll see that the hinge is going in and out like such and if you take a look at the other set of weapon holding hands you can see that the hinge on the hand is going up and down so that will give you slightly different articulations and looks for holding his weapons so that is really cool ah, and those are leonardo's hands <laughs> moving on and that brings us to the weapon tree and the weapon tree homages what they came with back in 88 which is all their weapons attached to a neat little tree and you just pull them off of there and use them at your leisure but Super 7 is good enough to provide us with a weapons tree plus additional painted weapons. And we are going to take a look at those starting with Leonardo's awesome katanas. And Leonardo comes with four katana blades, two that are on the weapons tree. And these two awesomely painted katanas. And these katana blades measure four and a half inches long and the blade is a good three of those inches so this is really really cool done in a nice silver got a bit of gold for the top of the hill not much for the handle until you get to the bottom and again with that gold but you got some detail in the handle looks like it's wrapped and wow these are just so so awesome these are beautiful swords and leonardo can hold these and each of his hands and then he could store them in the back of his shell and some people push them all the way that's an option but i kind of like to have mine up a little bit so you can see them from the front so that is really really neat these are some awesome awesome katana blades and that's leonardo's swords moving on and to do a quick run through of the rest of his weapons he has two nice silver throwing stars and they are really oh, hard to hold on to i guess but he can hold on to them really nicely he has the comma blade and it's very nice nice silver at the top and wrapped handle with some silver at the bottom and he can hold it really well very nice he has the two fist daggers the small handheld one and then the one that's a little longer and kind of looks like a piece of pizza and they're all nicely done and silver and he can hold these really really well love that he has the turtle communicators, one in the closed position and one in the open position, and they're really nicely detailed, look like turtle shells, and they're painted green and brown, and the open one has a nice blue screen and a little red button, some blue on the side, and you turn around to the back. The turtle shell has some nice rigid details, and the open has the silver button there, and you can see the antennas coming out the side, so that is really neat. That is his turtle communicators. And finally, he has a nice piece of pizza with pepperoni and cheese, and this looks very, very tasty. Mmm, nice crust, nice and light. He can enjoy this, and then go out and kick some shell. <laughs> All right. 
and that is his accessories. Moving on. And for comparison, here you have him with a lot of other Leonardos. You have the original 88 Leonardo from Playmates. You have him from the BSTAXN Loyal Subjects Leonardo. You have him with the Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo. You have him with the Monstrosity, which is the Playmates Classics Leonardo, which is too big, but that's, you know, relative. And then you have him with the awesome NECA Toon Turtle Leonardo. And I think these two are going to be your top Leonardo pick for the day. If you're interested in trying to get a Leonardo, these are the two that you're going to want to go for. Either if you like the cartoon aesthetic or the toy aesthetic, these are the best best in my opinion of the leonardos and you know depending on your style and what you like you know you got the toon turtle and you got the toy turtle but i think the super seven turtles also do a good comic book type version because these are some mean looking turtles all right this is your leonardo comparison moving on and here you have the entire Super 7 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set with Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael. And they look fabulous. This is what I would call a masterpiece set of Ninja Turtles. Masterpiece coming from like the Transformers when you had the regular versions that came out in the 80s and then you had the more updated versions which are based on the same thing. These are masterpiece turtles. They're bigger, they're better, they're more articulated, but they still hold true to the soul of the 1988 original turtle toys. And they are so, so awesome. But that is not all, my friends. No, let's go from the turtles looking like the awesome toy to the turtles looking like true mean green fighting machines that they are. And these alternate heads give you a brand new look for these awesome turtles. And I want to say it is very much like the original comic look that they had back in the 80s when they first came out and i'll just paint all of these the same color give them all red headbands wristbands elbow pads and knee pads and then you got a set of eastman layered turtles that are very very deadly yeah don't really want to mess around with these guys the NECA Toon turtles is one thing but these guys really look dangerous all right guys this is your comparison with the super seven ultimate teenage mutant ninja turtles moving on and this has been the Super 7 Ultimates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo. The final turtle that I needed to complete my set of four of the Ultimates. And they were awesome. Like I said in the comparison, these are what I consider masterpiece turtles for a more adult collectible. And they are just fantastic if you want to relive that nostalgia you have a toy turtle head and if you want something more grim you have these awesome new head sculpts and i love it they give you something new as well as something old it's almost like you're getting married <laughs> the amount of money i've given to super seven i do <laughs> seems like i am married to them uh anyway uh, this was a great action figure. I enjoyed playing with it immensely. Those swords are just so awesome. I think that's the best part of these accessories that he comes with. He does come with a lot of alternate hands and weapons that we've seen before. Pizza and communicators and different uh, stabbing weapons. But the swords are awesome they did a really good job giving us these katanas and i'm very impressed with it this entire presentation was great i love the super 7 ninja turtles and if you're a collector of the original toys you're definitely going to want to pick all of these up they're out right now at various online retailers and they range anywhere between 50 to 65 maybe 70 bucks since some of them have been out for a while and may be harder to find but they are great and if you're looking for more of this type of toy everything super 7 is putting out is toy related and that is just going to be how they're going to do their action figures and it's great 
I don't have any problem with it. I also have the Sewer Samurai Leonardo on pre-order. So I will come back whenever that thing gets released and we will review the Sewer Samurai Leonardo. And that's pretty much it for the video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, keep playing. And it's kind of a neat comparison. I wanted to take a look at each of the swords. The first one here is obviously going to be the Super 7 sword, and I think it's done the best. It's very long. Silver paint is just beautiful. The hilt, everything about this sword screams katana. Following that is the NECA TMNT Toon Sword, and that is really nice, kind of cartoony, big uh, blade there, and then basically just a plain brown handle, so nothing too great about that. And then following that, the last sword to come in there would be the Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Leonardo Sword, and it's pretty good. I like the sculpt of it. It's got a lot of detail in the handle. It's got the blue diamond, so that is pretty cool. And then coming over to the second row, the top, you got the Playmates Classic Leonardo, and it's just a simple sword, a little bit of uh, blue for the handle, but other than that, it's just a plastic uh, gray mold. Coming down to that, you have the BSTXN Loyal Subject Sword. It's very small. You do get a little bit of paint on the handle, but not anything on the blade. It's just a solid white plastic. And finally, you get the standard plastic sword that came with the classic 88 turtle, so nothing too great there. So all of these swords, I am telling you, the best sword of the lot is going to be the Super 7, and that just looks so great.